Hi everyone, welcome to Medical Microbiology for the spring of 2024. This is a virtual asynchronous class, so we don't get to meet in person. Uh, we'll only be chatting virtually. But I wanted to introduce myself to you so you know who the voice is on the other end of the videos. Um, my name is Dr. Trisha Van Lahr. Uh, I prefer to be called either Dr. Van Lahr or Professor Van Lahr. Van Lahr is my full last name. I am a full-time faculty member in the Department of Biological Sciences at Stanislaus State, so just up the road from you in Turlock. I was previously a full-time faculty member in the Department of Biology at Fresno State, so I know a lot of your other professors, um, but I uh, took the job at Stanislaus State when I had my kids um, because I wanted to be closer to my family. I grew up in Turlock, and so I wanted to be uh, super close. I live about a mile from my parents now. Um, and I also graduated from the department at Stanislaus State. So it's kind of like uh, coming home. But Fresno State, I loved working there, I, which is why I still offer to teach a class every now and then. Um, I loved my colleagues there. I think it's a fantastic department. I think you made a really great choice uh, coming to Fresno State. My research program at Stan State is in microbial genomics. I am really interested in bacteria. I love bacteria. I love microbiology. It's my favorite topic, which of course is why I decided to study it and take a job in it for the rest of my life. Um, but when I say genomics, I'm very interested in what the genetic material of these bacteria looks like. Um, and using that genetic material to answer questions like what bacteria are found in particular environments? So I'm interested in the microbiome. How do those bacteria interact with one another? How do they evolve? How do they exchange genetic material? Um, and a lot of that can be um, answered through using uh, genome sequencing. So I like doing genome sequencing. I do some 16S like microbiome sequencing. I've done transcriptome or RNA sequencing. So I really am interested in bacterial genetic material um, and how that can help us answer questions uh, about microbes. I typically teach courses in microbiology, obviously medical microbiology. Uh, when I was at Fresno, I also taught things like bioinformatics, genetics. I teach those same classes now at Stan. Um, but of course, other faculty at Fresno have taken over those courses. But I highly recommend courses in bioinformatics. I think it's a very important subfield. Um, and any other classes in microbiology that are offered uh, at Fresno State. As I mentioned before, I have uh, my bachelor's degree from Stan State in the Department of Biology. I have a master's degree in biology from Univers University of the Pacific in Stockton. And I have my PhD in cell and molecular biology from the University of Texas at San Antonio. I did my PhD on the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. So when you get to the videos on Lyme disease, um, I might geek out a little bit, but that's because it's one of my favorite bacteria. And then I did my postdoc uh, with the U.S. Army Institute for Surgical Research in the Dental and Trauma Research Detachment, which has now been renamed something like Craniofacial Trauma or something like that, um, at Fort Sam Houston in uh, Texas. And Fort Sam Houston is uh, inside San Antonio. And I studied antibiotic resistant bacteria um, and the biofilms they form and how they impair wound healing in soldiers who are returning from combat in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, a lot of my research focuses on the bacteria that are associated with birds. I love birds. I'm a bird nerd. Um, I've published some research on the microbiology of birds, um, especially with uh, Dr. Joel Slade in the department there at Fresno State. Um, and so yeah, this is me holding one of the birds that we study, a lesser goldfinch. And this is another bird that kind of sparked our collaboration that I found in my backyard when I lived in Fresno. It's a pine siskin. Uh, this is a disc diffusion assay, which you should have done in Bio 120. I should not have to explain that because I think you know what that means. Um, and then this is a type of uh, microbiome report that you might see um, looking at community composition and how community composition changes in different groups. 
So those are all the things I'm interested in. Uh, that's who I am. I mentioned that I moved up to Turlock when I had my kids. So I have uh, twin toddlers. You may or may not hear them in the background of a couple of the videos. I tried to record all the videos while they were sleeping, but you know, they're kids, sometimes they don't sleep. So if you hear them, well, that's them. Uh, the other thing you might hear in the videos is my rooster. So I apologize for that too, if you hear him. Um, I hope that you enjoy this class. I really like teaching it. I think the material is really interesting. Um, it is a difficult class. You will have to critically think about these microbes and how they interact with one another. But, you know, hopefully you're taking this class because you're interested in the topic. It is an elective. You are not required to take this course for graduation. If you are not interested in how microbes interact and how microbes cause disease, this is not the class for you. But if you are interested in it, I think you're really going to enjoy the class, but it will require a lot of work and I do expect that you have a strong foundation in microbiology from having taken Bio 120. If you ever have any questions about the class material, please uh, shoot me an email. My contact information will be in the syllabus and you can find that on Canvas. But of course, my email address follows the same standard format as everybody else's, tvanlar at csufresno.edu. Um, I will hold office hours and that will be in my syllabus as well and I'll provide the Zoom link. But because I'm holding those office hours in person at Stan State, if you want to join the Zoom, please send me an email that you plan to join the Zoom and at what time you plan to join the Zoom so I can make sure that I don't have another student in my office and that I have my Zoom open and available.